In this video, I'm going to provide some recommendations to dial in the Breville Oracle Touch Machine. In my opinion, dialing in the Breville Oracle Touch Machine is not a one-time process. I don't think that you can dial in this machine and then expect perfect espresso shots with any beans you have, any roast you're using, and then any age of beans. Dialing in the machine is almost a daily process for me and it depends very much on the type of beans that I am using. So today, we are going to dial in the machine with this brand new coffee that just arrived, and this is a French roast. So much darker than what we've been drinking this last week, which was this, a medium roast. Now the approach to a medium roast compared to a dark roast is going to be different from the onset. So that's why I think dialing in for a dark roast will be a good demonstration of how to dial in the machine. So right now, my grind settings for a medium roast is 17, and on some days, 18, 19, and even 20. I'm guessing maybe dependent on humidity and temperature, and then also perhaps the age of the beans, having to make some adjustments as they age or degas. But my grind settings for a medium roast, for this medium roast that we've been drinking this week, is between 17 and 20. For a dark roast, I'm going to start at a grind setting of 30, so much coarser. And that is because the roast of the coffee will have a significant impact on its behavior. So for example, the lighter the roast, the more dense the coffee is, and also the more moist because it was roasted for less time. The darker the roast, the less dense it is and the less moisture it has. So accordingly, to get the best possible extraction, you're going to grind differently. You're going to, to grind dark roast coarser and lighter roast finer. And in general, you're going to want a different yield to get the best out of those coffees. With a light roast going for more yield, maybe a one to three ratio, so basically 20 grams of ground coffee to 60 grams of liquid espresso extraction. To a dark roast, possibly a one to one, so 20 grams of ground coffee to 20 grams of liquid espresso. Darker beans will also be more soluble, which means Water will be able to extract the flavor from darker beans much faster. That's why you want to grind coarser and also shoot for less yield because you don't want to water down espresso. Lighter roasts are going to be less soluble, so you need more time for the water to extract all of the flavors in your espresso. There are three important variables to brew an espresso. The first variable is dose. The second variable is yield, and the third variable is time. You also have to worry about brewing temperature, especially depending on the types of roasted beans you're using. So first we'll talk about dose. Dose is the amount of ground coffee that is dispensed by the grinder and into your portafilter. Dose is a little tricky with the Breville Oracle Touch Machine because you can't adjust it on the fly. The machine will grind and tamp a certain amount of dose depending on the height of your tamp fan. Now the height of the tamp fan is adjustable and I have a video for that which is linked in the video description. But it's not quick to do on the fly. So once the height of the tamp fan is set, you are going to get a certain dose. Which is why it's really important to measure your dose after grinding with a large scale like this and the portafilter, so you know exactly how much dose you're getting, which would then allow you to calculate the yield that you should get during brewing. So once you have your dose, you're shooting for a yield of one to one ratio, or one to two ratio for medium beans, and sometimes one to three ratio for light beans. And finally, time is the amount of time you will spend to extract a specific shot. Normally, that is between 20 to 35 seconds, 
and that also depends on the types of beans you're using and of course taste. Lastly, temperature normally matches up well with the type of roast beans you're using, with dark roast preferring lower temperatures, so 195, 196 degrees Fahrenheit, medium roast beans 200 degrees, and lightly roasted beans around 204, 205 degrees Fahrenheit. So right now, we'll dial in the machine for this dark roast. We got 19.6 in a dose. Let's flush the group head. So we've locked in our dose at 20. We are going to go for a yield of 1.5, 1 to 1.5 in about 25 seconds. And let's see how it tastes. We have espresso at 9 seconds, still a little bit fast for flow, and we want to stop it now. So that was an extraction in 16 seconds, which is way, way too fast. As you can see, we have significantly less crema. And it's not surprising, given that this extraction was in just 15 seconds, which means that we are way under expected. So we'll take a quick look at the puck. Definitely coarser grounds. Um, no evidence of channeling. Pretty good, pretty good puck all around. 20.1 grams out of the grinder. Our dose is good. Okay, we have liquid at 10 seconds. Very smooth, very nice, like silky smooth. And we have a yeah, beautiful crema and almost a perfect, ooh, a perfect 1 to 1.5 ratio extraction. So let's taste it. So that was still on the sour side. Puck is nice, still nice, no evidence of channeling. Of course the screen imprint, which is normal in these machines. 20.3 Brilliant. Yeah, liquid at 10 to 11 seconds. A really nice flow. Really nice flow. We got a yield of 30.6, just close to the 1.5 that we want. We have nice crema, good color. Good color inside, really nice crema color. It's good. It's good. It's good. That's a good one. And keep in mind, these are settings that work for me with this machine. And there's definitely variation in the grinder setup for each machine. But once you figure out what works generally for your machine, you should be able to get to a pretty good starting point uh, based on the coffee roast. And then from there, you find our adjustments to get the best out of your coffee. So I think um, that's it for dialing in this specific bean. And as I mentioned before, I'm dialing in the machine 
is more a function of actually dialing in for each of the different beans or type of coffees that you're gonna drink. And even sometimes, while you stick with the same bean, day to day, you'll have to adjust the grind setting by one or two, depending on the humidity or the temperature and also the aging of the beans. I hope this video was useful. If you enjoyed it, remember to hit like and subscribe. In the meantime, I'm gonna have some wonderful espresso.